the moment. Can't believe what I just saw. The party continues every night. You never know what you're going to get. I'm a man. I'm 40. It's the best damn sports show, period, where the madness never stops. Next week at 11 on MSG Plus. Dora the Explorer Live is coming soon to your town. Dora, Boots, Diego, and all her friends are live on stage, and they want you to sing and play along. She needs your help to find a city full of lost toys. Dora! Join the adventure to the city of lost toys with Nickelodeon's Dora the Explorer Live, presented by State Farm. Coming to Radio City Music Hall April 8th through the 12th. Visit RadioCity/Dora.com or call Ticketmaster today at 212-307-4111. Welcome once again to our MSG studios in New York. Where the place. The Rangers still trailing the Bruins one to nothing. I'm Scott Lasky, along with Butch Gorin and Stan Fischler. So, Butch, you being a former coach, you can appreciate this. Coach Tortorella is trying everything here with the lines. Exactly right, and man. When you're standing behind the bench, you get a real feel for what's happening on the ice. You can see what where there is any offense being generated. And clearly, the Boston team is playing extremely good defense. So you shuffle the lines a little bit, hoping for a little bit of magic. So, Stan. Is this the, simply the offense not producing for the Rangers, or is it Boston defensively and in net really producing themselves, huh? And the second period, in a nutshell, is this, that the Rangers' offense got better and better. The problem was that Tim Thomas got better and better, and he had a little help from his friends, and uh, that's why the Rangers are still not on the score sheet. All right, gentlemen, take us through the second period highlights. Not very many, but uh, let's see what we got here. Here's a good... Uh, Good play here from uh, Avery and, and Callahan, a great two-on-one, and just a terrific save. Yes, it was, but look here, I remember against the Devils, Dubinsky lifted it over Bordeaux. I would have liked to see Callahan lift that. And here's a little knee-on-knee. -knee. Looks like he actually did stick his knee out just a little bit here, and this is going to uh, certainly hurt uh, the Rangers without Antropov. I give him two minutes, but I'm not the, I'm not the, I'm not the rep, so what, what are you going to do? Speaking of Antropov, huge blow. Oh, well, he's, he's a huge player, and, and the thing is, he's so important in this kind of game because the Bruins are a big team, and the Rangers need big guys. Hopefully, they'll come back. Well, and, you know, in talking about Antropov, I mean, he's been one of the most prolific scorers that the Rangers have had. You can see from this game that it's going to be tough to score goals, so with a guy like Antropov off, it's going to be important if the Rangers ever do get a power play that they certainly take advantage of this scenario because, as we've seen already, the Boston Bruins are playing extremely good defensive hockey. Once again, let's take another look at the Eastern Conference playoff race. We've got the Rangers with four games to go, including this one this afternoon. They're 89, right behind them, Florida, 87, and Buffalo at 85. Well, look at the Buffalo Sabres. You know what they're singing? Staying alive because it's been a tough haul for them. Well, the Islanders just playing it out, but they're both playing hard. The Lightning, I saw them last night, they played a strong game, almost beat the Devil. Well, the Penguins and the Hurricanes are two of the NHL's hottest teams. They could be fighting it out for that first-round first, uh, first round home ice advantage. That's right, and I like the Penguins in that one. This one here, Flyers got a balling out from their GM. They came back very strong. And the Canadians have been hot, hot, hot with Kovalev and their Montreal power play. They are trying to capture a playoff spot. Guys, the big night here on MSG has just begun. Following the game, we've got the Infinity Rangers post-game report. 7 o'clock, Devils and Sabres, Lightning and Islanders on MSG+. And, of course, you've got Hockey Night Live following the Devils and the